Today's speaker is uh, Tamara Todorovic from Citizen Go of Austria and Switzerland. Uh, she's uh, merely 25 years old, but she's already an activist, and she comes from Republika Srpska. And today she will be speaking about the pro-life, pro-family, and pro-liberty pro issues. Dobrodošli nazad na popodnevnu sesiju. Naš sledeći govornik je Tamara Todorović iz organizacije Citizen Go iz Austrije i Švajcarske. Ona ima skoro 25 godina aktivista je već dolazi iz Republike Srpske i govoriće nam na temu za život, za porodicu i za slobodu. Citizen Go is a very big, we should better say huge organization and uh, very famous in the pro-life world. And we are looking forward to hearing something more about it from uh, Tamara. Tamara, you have the floor. Inače, Citizen Go je zaista ogromna organizacija, poznata širom sveta po, uh, i u širom pro-lifea, a o njoj će nam nešto više reći Tamara. Tamara, izvolite. Hvala vam. Uh, ja sam, ko što je već najavljeno, Tamara Tudović i ja se pet godina zalažem protiv abortusa. Prije sam se zalagala dobrovoljno, a jednu i pogodno sam već zaposlana kod Citizen Go i prije smo zajedno čkri radili za celo njemački dio, a sad smo podelili Njemačku, Austriju i Švajcarsku da budu posebne liste i da se više privišimo tome i to znači od mata ja sad radim puno radno vreme za Austriju i za as it has been said, uh, uh, my name is uh, Tamara Todorovic and for five years I fight against uh, abortion. First I did it voluntarily and for uh, one year and a, uh, and a half I worked for Citizen Go. First it was uh, in the region of Germany, uh, which we later divided uh, to Austria, Switzerland and Germany region. And uh, since March... I have a full working uh, time. Citizen Go, ko što je već bilo najavljeno, se zalaže za život, za porodicu i za slobodu. Hrišćanska je organizacija što utiče na politiku i na različite firme. Ako se skupi sve zajedno, koliko nas podržava narod i potpisuje naše potpise, peticije i dobijaju naše mailove. Sve zajedno imamo 17.000 aktivna članova po svijetu. Citizen Go is an... The Citizen Go community is the community that fights for life, for family and for liberty. It's a Christian organization and it impacts politics and we are supported by people and we have 17 million of active uh, citizens. Mi smo aktivni u 50 različita država i po i koristimo 11 jezika. We are active in 50 uh, different states and uh, we are using uh, 11 foreign languages. Te 11 jezika su njemački Engleski, Španski, Francuski, Portugiski, Italijanski, Polski, Hrvatski, Mađarski, Holandski i Slovački. So those languages are German, English, Spanish, French, Portuguese, Italian, Polish, Croatian, Hungarian, Holland and Slovakian language. Dutch, sorry, Dutch. Yes, thank you. To znači tamo sve šaljemo naše peticije, tamo smo najviše aktivni u tim državama gde se spričaju ti jezici. And we are most active in those countries that these languages are spoken in. I šta znači to naše za život, za porodicu i za slobodu? Mi sa tim podrazumijavamo za život da se zalažemo protiv abortusa, eutanizije i sve druge napade na ljudski život. And what does pro-life, pro-family, and pro-liberty mean? It means that we are doing our best against, uh, in the fight against abortion, euthanasia, and, attack, uh, and everything that attacks life. I za porodicu smo gdje štitimo djecu od napata, dženda, ideologije i svega toga što pritiskaju na našu djecu. And we are protecting children uh, of gender ideology and everything that pressures them into that direction. 
I sloboda, zato se moramo zalagati, jer ako se ne zalažemo da možemo pričati što očemo i da imamo um, slobodu da ne budemo cenzurirani, inače nećemo moći ni se zalagati više ni za život, ni za porodicu. And we have to put our efforts, because if we do not, then uh, we will... We couldn't uh, possibly do anything for our life or for our family. We also uh, do something for the freedom of censorship. Ali kako mi uopšte tačno to radimo što sam sad najavila? Šta, kako funkcioniše to? Oću vama malo da bolje objasnim. And I would like to explain you uh, in a better way. What are we doing? What are we fighting for? Jedna od glavnih mogućnosti što koristimo je pravti peticije. One of the main possibilities that we use is uh, our petitions. Tu je Dio Smuzel od Amerikanaca, naš um, founder, CEO, je um, prije 20 godina bio u Americi i vidio da tamo peticije dosta pomažu levoj strani tim što se zalažu protiv naše vrednosti. And we have taken this idea from the USA. Our CEO was in the USA 20 years ago, where he could see that uh, those petitions helped to the left side in those um, uh, activities. Tako da je on to započeo prije 20 godina u Španiji i prije 10 godina smo se proširili svetski da dalje to radimo. Mm -hmm. And he has started it 20 years ago in Spain and 10 years ago we have spread ourselves worldwide. I to funkcioniše s tim da ili mi sami ili neko što nas podržava počne napravi peticiju na našoj stranci. And uh, uh, how could we do it? We alone or somebody who is supporting us is helping us uh, in those petitions. I te peticije mogu biti nacionalne ili internacionalne. To znači da pošaljemo samo našim mailing listama u... Austrii, na primjer, ili svetski da pošajemo svim našim članovima i da prevodimo različite jezike. And uh, we are supported on national and international level, which means we send those petitions to our linguists uh, throughout the member countries and they translate. Na primjer, u Austriji imamo u našoj listi 20.000 persona, to znači ako napravim peticiju pošajem, to ide na 20.000 što mogu potpisati. Uh -huh. In Austria, for example, we have uh, 20,000 uh, people on the mailing list. I ta peticija kad se potpiše, kad stigne 100 potpisa, ono pošalje 100 e-mailove na tu pazunu koju očemo da je to šaljemo. Naprimjer, jednom poličaru ili nekom glavnog od firme, kad od njega tražimo da neki zakon ne uradi ili nešto promeni. And for example, uh, when the petition is signed for each uh, hundred uh, uh, vo votes for that petition, we send 100 of emails. And for example, for a politician, if we want uh, to make him do some uh, changes in certain law, that's how we send it. Tako možemo narod dodati glasa da se buni ako nešto političar ili drugi rade loše, da bi stiglo da oni u velikom glasu. This way we can make people's voice to be heard if they want something to be changed uh, in the politics of some politician so they can hear their voices. Tako da može biti da sa pa dana na primjer premijer dobije pa hiladu emailova i mora sve da briše ili da nađe načine da mu više ne stignu kad mi napravimo jednu kampanju. And when we make a campaign in a few days the prime minister uh, can maybe uh, receive uh, um, few, um, a dozen of uh, emails and he has to delete them. That happens when we have such campaigns. I što nam u tome još pomaže je što narod više puta sam širi preko Telegram ili Whatsapp ili druge socijalne medije i onda mogu stići još više i više potpisa bez našeg uticaja. Mm -hmm. And what also helps us is that people are sharing those information through Telegrams, through other social uh, medias. They spread our words. I kad to nam se ne čini dovoljno, onda nekad i organizujemo da se nađemo sa tim pozornama što smo napravili peticiju um, s na, njima i pričamo jednom s njima i u jednoj kištri predamo sve te potpise gdje piše iz koje države dolaze te potpise i imena, da oni još jednom vide koliko je to naroda i čuju od nas mišljene od tog naroda. 
And what we also uh, do is that we are trying to meet all those persons who are signing those uh, petitions, and uh, we try to inform which countries are they from and uh, what happens there when signing the petition. Pored toga i nekad pos um, pozovemo narod u našoj listi da nešto širi u Twitteru ili da nazove te pozone kojima smo pravili peticiju. And for example we also make those people spread uh, some words uh, through Twitter or to uh, address to those persons that we uh, aimed these petitions at. I prije glasanja pošaljemo svima pitanja političari i partijama šta što se oni zalažu ili su oni za ali nešto protiv nešto i po tome napravimo onda jedan voting guide da prošajemo našem narodu koje, koga mogu glasati za naše vrijednosti i koga ne. Tako da možemo direktno uticati ko će doći na vlasti i ko ne. And prior to voting, uh, we make a short um, questionnaire uh, uh, for those persons. What are, they, uh, what are their goals and what are we voting so we can have a direct impact in um, voting for certain persons that should come to a certain positions and in their decisions. I trudimo se i pored toga da koristimo moderne socijalne medije, u tome uglavnom u Twitter, Instagram i Facebook. So we are trying to use uh, the modern, modern social media, Twitter, uh, Facebook, um, Instagram was it? Yes. Mm -hmm. And Instagram, so we are trying to, use, to make use of these. I pored ti online stvari nekad i učestvujemo, ali zajedno organizujemo s drugim organizacijama demonstracije, events i tako da bi i po tome još doradno vršili pritisak na koga god očemo i zbog kog razloga. Uh, another uh, way in which we can actually pull through our ideas is not just via social media, but also we organize demonstrations uh, when we feel uh, we need to do that and we cooperate with other organizations to make a bigger impact. A da ne bude samo u teoriji, hoću vama još jedan video da pokažem kratko. So, not to stay in the theoretical field, I will show you a video uh, to illustrate what I've been talking about. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. When you sign, share, donate, you make it possible. During this year, we launched more than 500 campaigns. Thanks to supporters like you, Citizen Go is empowered to set our own agenda, taking the fight to the far left. Citizen Go so, members stood up together to oppose okay. and defend the radical perversion and transgendering agenda at the United Nations. Encourage the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. We will play the video once again <laughs> because it was not visible. <laughs> <laughs> Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. When you sign, share, donate, you make it possible. During this year, we launched more than 500 campaigns. Thanks to supporters like you, Citizen Go is empowered to set our own agenda, taking the fight to the far left. Citizen Go members stood up together to oppose and defend the radical perversion and transgendering agenda at the United Nations. Encourage the Supreme Court of the United States to overturn Roe vs. Wade. Uphold the ongoing fight to engender ideology indoctrination 
at Disney parks, films, and productions. Stop censorship of Christian pro-life thought in public debates, social media, and other online platforms. Fight back against blasphemous and transgender propaganda on Netflix. Support humanitarian organizations like Caritas in Slovakia, Poland and Hungary that help thousands of refugees who fled from the war in Ukraine. Impact elections on legislation on behalf of life, family and liberty. When we are united, we are stronger. We generate impact. We are unstoppable. We are Citizen Go. To je bilo to, kratko skupi to što smo pravili svetski, tu ste vidjeli i u snimku, na primjer da smo bili išli protiv Disney, tam demonstrirali skupa potpise da oni ne stave gay padove u filmovima dječjih. So you could see, um, that was all in brief what we do. Among other things, we demonstrated against uh, putting uh, gay couples into movies for children. I to sve... Uh, to Disney. Uh, that, that was... Uh, yeah. For Disney not to put that. I to je sve financijano od tog naroda što nas podržava, mali uh, donacije. Nemamo nekog velikog ku državu ili neke velike organizacije što bi nas podržali, nego imamo samo zaradnike druge organizacije i podrško od naroda na različite načine. So, Uh, so we are not supported financially by any uh, major government or big country. We actually uh, collect donations from our supporters, from uh, other organizations, so uh, that is how we do it. I da ne bi sam ostala na teoriju tijela, bi vam i jedne primjere dati gdje smo bili uspješni ili da stignemo medije ili da postignemo što želimo. So I would uh, like to give you a couple of more examples uh, where we managed to reach the media or achieve our goals uh, in some way. Napravi mogućnost da bude abortusa i dalje u Falaberg. Um in my area actually Falaberg is it? Falaberg, yes. Yes. Uh, so we uh, we uh, wanted to have the last abortion clinic closed but the government uh, was opposed to that. Uh, so this is actually what we did. You can see in the first picture uh, how we tried to uh, demonstrate against abortion and to pull our uh, ideas through. Tako da su leve medije poličama pravili pritisak da urade nešto da bude abortus, a mi smo online pravili pritisak da do toga ne dođe. So we actually used uh, the online media to pressure the politicians to, uh, to end abortion and um, the general media tried to do the opposite and to support the government um, in favor of abortion. Kao što politika uvijek i i radi tako je probala nešto između da nađe da bi i nas um, zadovoljila, a i ti što su protiv nas da bi zadovoljili. So what the politicians generally do is they try to, to find some um, halfway solution for the both uh, sides to be satisfied. That is what they, what they tried this time as well. Tako da smo uspjeli da ne budu abortusi u bolnicama, ali je zato poličaka ta ministarka za zdravlja um, našla neku smještaj pored bolnice što pripada isto državi i tam će biti abortus, ali nije direktno u bolnici. So what actually happened is that the minister, the lady minister of health actually found some accommodation for the women who wanted to perform abortion, uh, which is kind of affiliated to the hospital itself, but the abortions are no longer performed within the hospital, but within that 
uh, side facility, let me say. So basically, kind of both sides were kind of satisfied. I to je bilo najavljeno u decembru i u februaru se trebalo o tome glasati, pa smo mi vidjeli da to što smo online radili, što smo pričali sa poličama u pazoni nije bilo dovoljno, pa smo tijeli i sljedeći kodak da pokrenemo. Actually, the voting was supposed to be carried out in February, and what we could see, because this went on from December, that it was not enough that we had discussed this with the politicians, so we wanted to take one step forward. So what we did actually was... Mi smo uzeli te um, figurice fetalne, nadučili preko pro-life organizacija. So we ordered pro-life uh, figurines of a fetus, as you can see in the picture. I napisali smo pismo i nazvali smo tog fetala uh, Markusa, tu bebu, je se tako zove i predsjednik pokrajine. I molili smo poličare da glasaju za život i protiv abortus kliniku. So we actually named the fetus Marcus because the head of the province uh, is named Marcus. So we asked uh, for a wo vote for Marcus to live. I to smo stavili jedno pismo zajedno sa jednom karticom gdje spile informacije o razvijanju u materici. Pa tako smo poličama poslali te informacije još prije glasanja. So we, what we did next is we took the, these figurines, we took a, uh, a card with the information uh, about the vote and also the information about the development of a fetus within the body uh, and sent, it, uh, sent all that out to different politicians uh, to make them aware uh, of before uh, of the voting. I pored toga je bila naša treća peticija, bile su stigle e-mailove, um, to je ministarki od zdravlja, tako da smo te dvije stvari radili jedno pored drugog direktno pred glasanje. And there was another motion, we actually uh, had this petition, we had uh, a bunch of e-mails uh, sent by our supporters to the minister, minister of health, so we did uh, parallel actions in order to uh, put our idea through. I to je... Bilo poslije proglašeno od ti levi poličara u Twitteru što su se bunili što smo mi to napravili i slikali su i našu figuru i pismo i vidjeli smo u komentarima i neke što sa abortus su napisali ja sam za abortus i da bude i džaba i sve, ali kad vidim ovu figuru nekako me hvata strah. So actually what uh, the left wing did, they, uh, they uh, used our figurine, they made photos of it, and uh, there um, the, on Twitter, some of them said actually, yes, I am for abortion, but when I see this figurine, I'm, I kind of get creeps, and I'm really scared. Tako da smo sa tim stigli da to hiladama pazona što normalno protiv nas u isto vide šta je ljudsko biće. I medije su poslije i o tome i prenijeli da smo mi to uradili. Uh, so the effect of all of this was that all those people who are uh, for abortion uh, actually could see our side of the story and also that the media reported about our activities, so we did pull through. I preko neki poliča što su s nama o dobrim odnosima smo saznali da je ta patija što uvela tu um, mogućnost da se abortira. Um, isto imala sastanak prije glasanja pričali jedno među drugom kako da nas smire, da ne izgube glasače. And what we actually learned from the politicians uh, with whom we have really good connections is that uh, the party who are against us also had a meeting uh, before the vote and they discussed actually the best way to shut us up. Je ta partija što to uvela je normalno ta tradicionalna i konzervativna partija Austrije, tako da su normalno njihovi glasači prije bili pretežno katolici i drugi tradicionalni narod, a su bili mislili da je naroda sa našim mišljenjem nestalo pa smo ih morali još jednom posjetiti. Uh, so actually the voters for that uh, pro-abortion parties uh, are, actually, uh, are actually conservative and Catholic uh, people, uh, so we had to remind them about the true values um, which they obviously have forgotten. Na kraju nije bilo dovoljno da bi dovoljno ljudi, dovoljno poliča u Bernli da glasaju s nas, tako da su sam petor od 42 poliča glasali protiv abortus i rest su glasali za abortus, ali je tokom cele sedmice su raspravali preko sat vremena i plakali i pričali o našim figurcama i ti 
veoma levi poličar so čak počeli da viču in da psuju naše figurice in nas kao organizacijo. And in the end, we didn't succeed completely, but we got uh, 42 politicians uh, against the abortion and 10 of them for the abortion. Uh, the opposite, yes, the, the, that were the opposed politicians. And uh, during one week, we had uh, some uh, meeting, uh, one hour meeting, where a lot of them cried and uh, they took our figurines and uh, said, uh, uh, made those figurines guilty for everything, uh, for that situation that ended up like that. Jedna poličarka je čak reka da je ona i sama abortirala jedno djete što je malo um, neki poremećaj i da je njena, njeno djete izgledala ako ta figura bila te iste u istom sedmici. And even a lady politician uh, said that she even had an abortion because the, uh, her fetus uh, had some disease. And she said that uh, that figurine reminded her of uh, her uh, fetus because it was in the same uh, week of uh, development, yes. Posle to glasanja nismo tijeli da odustajemo, da se dajemo kao da smo oboreni, jer smo znali da ti što će da organizuju abortus, što zarađuju ta organizacija sa državom, su privatnici što isto međusobno nisu skoro složeni oko toj teme. And after voting, uh, we did our best not to give up because we had some information that those people that are working for the abortion are actually some uh, private uh, parties that cooperate with the state. And even they are not uh, very concorded among themselves. Yeah, taj razlog zašto je uopšte država se tu umješala je zato što nikoj privatnik nije tijel vod abortus, je zato što je u toj pokrajini ima još to stanalo da što se ne slaže s tim, pa neće ti abortus doktori da budu u javnost. Pa se kriju iza te organizacije što zarađuje sa um, državom. And the reason of uh, the, why the state was included is that in that region there are people who are hiding behind that organization because uh, it's a small region and they don't want it to be found out. Tako da mi imamo još nadu da možemo tu organizaciju spriječiti, jer tu je organizaciju doktora što su se dosad zalagali sa zdravlje, sa psihologiju, sa zube, sa različite smjene i sad prvi put oče da se umješaju u abortus. And there is hope because those organizations dealt with health, with psychology, with the teeth, and now they uh, want for the first time to be included uh, in this uh, fight against abortion. Tako da, sad imamo protiv toga peticiju, ali nismo samo se tijeli na njih koncentrisati, nek smo tijeli još i poličama, još jednom da reagujemo, pa smo uzeli još jednu figurcu i poslali još jednom svima i stavili je u nekoj um, boji crvenoj i napisali da su sad glasali za to da se ubije tog Markusa. So after this petition we also wanted to target the politicians, we took this figurine, colored it in red and uh, put it with the text that uh, uh, now you can vote to kill Marcus. I tako da su na to bile reakcije još veće <laughs> i stiglo je do medije, ko što se ovdje vidi taj jedan glavni političar je to podelio u Twitteru i ljuto napisao da to neće uticat na ni i to su videli preko 80.000 pazona. And uh, what they uh, did, uh, the main politician, for example, uh, he shared it on his Twitter. He said that it will not impact his, their work, but uh, 80,000 people, uh, so uh, actually 80,000 persons saw this. I preko naši drugara, što su veoma aktivni na Twitteru, su bili skoro svi komentari sa život i su raspravali sa svima što su protiv života ih ubjede. And even after through our friends who are on Twitter, we reached the other people because they were discussing uh, these matters for life and against abortion. I naša sad četvrta peticija u vezi te teme, što je sad na taj um, doktor uh, organizaciju što će da prave abortus, mi smo poslali um, do skoro nima i bilo je stiglo preko noć preko hiradu potpisa i onda je politika izašla posle par dana i dala izjavu da će više pomagat ženama što su neplanski postale trudne. 
And the fourth petition was that uh, we sent to uh, one thousand of uh, signatures to those uh, doctors who wanted to have this clinic for the abortion. And they came up with a solution that they will help more to those women who uh, remained uh, pregnant uh, in an unplanned way. A što je bilo zanimljivo na tome da je politika od kad su to glasali preko dva mjeseca nije ništa pričala o tome i kad smo mi pre, drugi projekta našli vremena da ponovo uđemo u tu temu i ponovo po, posjetimo narod da reagujemo, onda on su posle pet dana odmah reagovali i tijel nas da smire je u njihovim očima oče da smire medije što s protivni, oče da naprave tu abortus kliniku, oče da duže i konzervativne glasače, pa oče tako da ubijene nas, da će pomagati tim ženama i da nas... Um, so what was interesting, that they, they did nothing for two months, and after we tried to uh, talk about this again, to remind people of this uh, uh, topic, uh, five days after uh, that, they came up uh, with some words that uh, they actually want to help uh, those women just in order to hush us down. They did their best to, to hush us down. Tako da ćemo se tu dalje boriti i to je jedna kampanja što po mom mišljenju dobro ide jer je um, dobro medijsko pažnju. Jesu velike um, konkurencije protiv koga se borimo, veliki su neprijatelji i zbog toga ne možemo previše očekivati, ali idemo na tom putu da polako um, dižemo više pažnju na to da još više reakcije dobijamo i da oni dobiju um, utisak da nas ima mnogo više nek što su do sad osjetili. So, uh, what we actually have to do, we have to fight further because it's a good campaign. It was uh, covered uh, with media. We really had those great, huge competitors who did their best, but we must not give up. We must prove that there are a lot of us more who want to fight against uh, this uh, issue of abortion. Tako da je to bio jedan primjer od jedne borbe što i dalje ide, a desno vidite jedan primjer od jedne borbe što je već pobjeđena. And so this was the example of a fight and on the right side you can see an example of the uh, of our victory, let me say. The, yes. And um, the victory is um, <laughs> such an <asupski. laughs> um, uh, to što to nije direktno povezano sa našom današnjom temom na summitu, ali tjela sam to uzet kao primjer kako mogu da utiču i naše reakcije da to ima utisak. So this kind of victory is not directly connected to the topic of this summit, but uh, can be used as an example to see how we are reached and how we succeeded. Ja ta priča iz te slike je da je ta slika bila na crkvi kad se bilo post i to je bilo u jednoj pokrajini u Austriji i to je episkopa od Tirola rekao da se to stavi unutra, a katolici su rekli to ni vrijeđa njihovu vjeru jer misle da tako nešto je na od praseta srce um, što je u nekom gumi stavi to da to nema mjesta u jednoj crkvi. And the story behind this uh, picture is that uh, this uh, picture was actually placed uh, in a church uh, in Austria during the fasting period. Uh, uh -huh. It was the pig's heart, and they said that there is no place for pig's heart in this uh, church. Tako da je neko otišao na našu strancu i napravio peticiju i ta peticija je preko noć skoro za tri, četiri dana dobila skoro dvije hiljade potpisa. So someone went to our page and made a petition and after three or four nights we got two thousand signatures votes. I toliko se prošilo da su posle čak narod što nije potpisao što je pričao druge jezike preko internet zato zasno je pisao o tom um, episkopu. And da, that's how sviđa. the story spread, and some people even wrote to this uh, archbishop. Archbishop. I episkop je otišao prvo medije i to obranio i objašnjavao zašto je to stavio unutra, da je to neka umetničnost, da, da narod to ne razumije, da je tu ima neka priča iza, ali narod je bio sve ljuči na njega i na kraju je rekao da će tu sliku prije sklonit nek što je bio planirao sklonit posle posta. 
and the bishop went to media. He said that this uh, picture is actually an uh, artistic one, that the people maybe don't understand its value, but the, those people were really angry and didn't want it to be there. Tako da je on u medijama najavio tako da, da će skloniti pa se je sklonio i medije su prenijeli da je to jedan znak da te tradicionalni u crkvi su um, pobjedili protiv te moderne što su tijeli da se crkva otvori i bude tolerantna i sve. And he went to media, he said that he will remove this, and he did this, he removed it, so uh, it was said that the traditional actually uh, won over the modern subject. I to je nama pokazalo kako je sa malo potpisa, već možemo dosta učiniti i dobiti reakcije. And this has shown how we can actually succeed even with a small number of votes. I ovo je primjer kako naše peticije od prilike izgledaju. Bude lijevo uvijek tekst gdje objašnjava se o čem se radi, a desno tekst koji će biti poslat. To je po zoni kome ide peticija. And this is how our petition looks like. On the right you have a text what it is about and on the left side you can see the text that will be sent. Tu vam mogu pokazati strancu kako izgleda. Here I can show you a page. To je primjer. This is an example. Tu je primjer i tu se vidi na toj sliki kad su neki od naši što sa nama zarađuju demonstrirali unutra u parlamentu i prekinili njihovo glasanje i su stavili plakate da abortus da pre ja, abortus nije zdravstveno pomaganje ženama. And here you can see some people who were demonstrating in parliament and they uh, wore the transparency uh, which uh, had uh, uh, text that the abortion is not a help to those women. Health care to those women. Uh -huh. I ovdje ću vam pokazati na hrvatski da bi razumeli kako je napravita stranca um, lakše jer ima tu onama pobjede Donira i pridruži nam se sve, ima informacije na stranci. And here it is in Croatian, you can see how it is to reach this page. Tu smo se zagragali sa pravdu slobode, što smo isto povenili. Tu se vidi još jednom koje su tekstove, tu dugački tekst, objašnjenje, linkove. You can see text, explanations, links. Linkovi su da se može još pročitati informacije o toj temi i da se vidi odakle smo mi dobili naše informacije. Links lead us to more information on the topic and where we got those information from also. I tako da to utičemo tako i može se otići na našu strancu i sam uvijek napraviti peticiju ili potpisati što već ima. And this is how we are trying to make uh, some influence. You can always go to our website and even sign or whatever. Here is an example how to write a petition. Itako, da vama ostavljam ovdje link adresu, možete prepisati. I to je sve što imam da kažem o nama skupito, otprilike sa primjerima šta mi radimo i ako neko još ima pitanja možete slobodno postaviti. So here I'm leaving you a link so you can have it and go to that website and also if you have certain questions please be free to ask. Da li ima neko pitanja? Any questions? Da. Ja sam Sneža sa Dorćola kada sam u Srbiji, iz Moralberga kada sam u Austriji. So I'm Sneža from Dorćol when I'm in Srbija and in Freiburg when I'm in Austrija. Yes, I know Tamara for over seven years now. Poznam Tamaru više od sedam godina. And I'm very glad to see her here. I drago mi je da je ovdje. In this role. U ovoj ulozi. And I want to thank her for a beautiful transfer of information for a very 
Želim da je zahvalim na ovom transferu informacija po pitanju jedne poprilično tabu teme. I da je postavim pitanje. Mada bi bilo lakše da te pitam na nemačkom, što prevodioci ne bi mogli da prevedu. Nadam se da ćeš biti iskrena u odgovoru kao što si svih ovih godina bila iskrena prema nama. So did you ever have a chance or somebody, some member of your organization uh, to talk to uh, women uh, who are uh, personally uh, affected with this issue? So who are actually uh, had to make this choice um, to do this abortion or not to do it? It doesn't matter which uh, circumstances uh, were involved, but uh, have you ever had a chance to work with them or to support them or just to have an open ear for their uh, uh, problems and uh, this issue? Or is it always just like trying to influence politicians and people who uh, make some sort of decision that go into society? Or do you also support um, da li si ikada imala priliku da razgovaraš sa ženama koje su morale da donesu ovakvu odluku, dakle da se odluče da izvrše abortus ili da ga ne izvrše ili se samo trudite da utičete na donosioce odluka kako biste onemogućili da se sprovodi abortus? Well, I have to answer this question in two ways because I need to know the difference between what Citizen Go does and what I have personally experienced. Dakle, na ovo pitanje moram da odgovorim iz dva ugla. S jedne strane, kao pripadnik Citizen Go, jer mi imamo jednu agendu, a sa druge strane, kao osoba koja je uključena u sve ovo. Citizen Go is focused on... Political influence and donations. So, if a woman was unplanned pregnant, we could organize to fundraise for her financially to help her. But if she needed psychological help, we will we would send her to one of our allies, our friends, who could help her much better. Dakle, ono što u okviru organizacije radimo, trudimo se da ukoliko je, na primjer, u pitanju žena koja je ostala u drugom stanju, da joj pružimo podršku. To možemo da organizujemo preko nekog od naših saradnika, da ona dobije bilo psihološku pomoć ili neku drugu vrstu pomoći koja je potrebna. So that in the organization itself I have not been that much in contact with unplanned pregnant women because we were we are more focused on politics and to bring better political change that in the end also helps these people. Dakle, u okviru organizacije više se bavimo političkim delovanjem kako bismo napravili nekakav sveobuhvatan zaokret koji će svim ovim ljudima biti od pomoći. But I have in the last five years when I was also a member of a pro-life young Jav people organization of Austria um, cooperating with a lot of pregnancy crisis centers so I have um, helped connect, collect donations and be there for people and also you know um, bring people into context like what I was mostly doing also on social media and everywhere was to just tell people there is this crisis pregnancy center they can help you they can help you in these ways and just spread around information so I'm not personally doing it but i know the people who can help in the most professional ways dakle u jednom periodu kada sam bila mlađa bavila sam se preko omladinske organizacije jer u austriji postoji nešto što se zove krizni centar za trudnoću gde postoji način da se svim ovim ženama pomogne dakle obraćala sam im se svima trudila sam se da ih da, da budu obavešteni o postojanju ovakvih centara i da shvate da je moguće da im se pruži pomoć And I have personally done sidewalk counseling, standing in front of abortion clinics and giving out information material and telling them what there are alternatives, also giving them one of these embryo models to tell them what, that this is a baby, this is a child. And I have in that 
room also with an organization that has the donation money um, helped someone who already chose life but didn't have a lot of opportunities at home. So we gave them a couple of hundred euros and they thanked us later for um, buying them everything necessary for our baby. Uh, ono što sam uh, radila u okviru ove organizacije to je da sam se bavila nekom vrstom savjetodavnog i informativnog rada uh, u smislu da sam uh, ovakve figuri, figurice uh, davala ljudima da oni vide da to nije uh, nešto tamo nego da je to zaista fetus i kako on izgleda. Uh, trudila sam se da oni imaju prave informacije i čak uh, ženama koje su uh, već bile u drugom stanju i koje su se odlučile za života nisu imale dovoljno sredstava ili odgovarali varajuće uslove u okviru svoje porodice, kuće, dakle da se njima novčano, financijski pomogne i one su nam posle toga zahvaljivale jer smo im obezbedili sve one potrebštine koje su neophodne novim majkama. And online I have one time in, I am in a Facebook group in, uh, that is fighting abortion that has a neutral objective name like everything about abortion and sometimes women go in there and post that they um, want to get an abortion but they feel bad about it. So a lot of us went into the comments and recommended help centers and also spoke kind words and then I shared also with her something God did for me and then she later posted that she chose life and that she got help and that she will raise the child. So that was a small action online that we have also experienced I in this group and in other organizations. So that's not what Citizen Go does, but Citizen Go would also help cover donation costs to, to fundraise, to get uh, financial help. But um, yeah, we, as I mentioned in the beginning in the answer, uh, to keep it short, uh, yeah, we just uh, know many organizations and then just send people over to the right spots. Uh, isto tako u okviru jedne Facebook grupe koja ima prilično neutralan naziv, a to je sve o abortusu, uh, trudili smo se da uh, omogućimo ženama koje su uh, donela odluku prosto da izvrše abortus, međutim jako su se loše uh, osjećale zbog toga. Uh, trudili smo se u okviru te grupe da im pružimo podršku i uh, mnogi od njih su promenile mišljenje i odlučile da ipak ne izvrše abortus. Uh, dakle, to je nešto što... Uh, Uh, Citizen Go uh, ne radi na taj način, dakle više se bavi donacijama uh, i više se bavi političkim aktivizmom, ali jednostavno u kontaktu smo sa drugim organizacijama koji su u mogućnosti da pruže podršku ženama na neke druge načine. Tako da je to moj odgovor i je li ima još pitanja? So this is my answer. Šta? Oh, ok. Um, dobro, onda spod vremena možete postaviti pitanje meni u pauzi privatno. <laughs> so I will, uh, because of the shortage of time, we have to move on. Uh, she will be available during breaks for any other questions anybody might have. <laughs>